Well, jinky sports fans, we've got another situation on our hands. This one even sadder than that one scene from Len Before Time. If you know, you know. I was doing what any miserable white guy would be doing at late at night, scrolling Twitter. Oh, I'm sorry. X for the red pill gentleman out there. And I came across another short king pretending to be me. Seems like this one was getting a lot of updoots and doing the numbers, as the kids say. But in the wise words of Dwight Schrute, identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families are affected every year. He's not even doing anything. He's just kind of standing there more uncomfortable than your nan when she misses the alarm for bingo. So I went down in my back cave and I asked Alfred to look up this guy, and apparently he's a terminally online Dead by Daylight streamer. I imagine he also took this from me because like four years ago, I also played Dead by Daylight, and I was one of the worst huntresses that you've ever seen, and this guy is also one of the worst players that I have also ever seen. I guess him playing Dead by Daylight was also taken from me and also part of the bit, but I don't know why you would not play something good like RuneScape. If you get 99 in a skill in RuneScape, you get a sick-ass cape. You know what you get when you get P100 in Dead by Daylight? My father's love, which is absent. If you haven't caught on by now, Dead by Daylight is a hot steaming pile of donkey dick. The game is just one big raging circle jerk where both sides want to be the very best, but no one ever was or will be. Sorry, Ash Ketchum. The game is also permanently on life support because the game is about as stable as your Skyrim playthrough with 269 mods and SL framework is the one that's crashing it. If you know, you know. The video was never supposed to take off, but it's limping on since it's the company's only cash cow that they have left they've tried to make like eight other games and none of them have panned out and despite the fact that the game's kind of just in this very shoddy place permanently the dbd play race keeps coming back like an x in an extremely codependent situation now, i'm not exactly a dbd expert or anything but i feel like if you uninstall dbd today your parents will love you three times more and you'd be five inches taller this game takes years off your life expectancy and dbd players are here for a bad time not a long time Honestly, I really do feel bad for this guy being married to such a shit show, but I will say, he's a pretty handsome looking dude there. I'd love to see him do, you know, the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse or the Ooh! every once in a while. That would be, that'd be fantastic, but I hope he gets out of the situation and I hope he finds his own identity. Anyways, that's really about it. See ya.